What is up guys, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Franco Torres and I'm a guitarist slash content creator, I guess. Um, I make these videos here, I also teach guitar and I'm also doing some music videos and photo work and whatnot. Anywho, uh, today's video is going to be fairly quick. I just wanted to talk about something that really uh, kind of grinded my gears yesterday. I spent around six hours <laughs> trying to find the solution. I finally found it. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. I did find it thanks to another video that I found on YouTube. However, I spent like, and I'm not kidding, six hours looking for that particular answer to get this kind of workaround thing. Um, so basically what I am going to be talking about essentially is how to get your um, Universal Audio Apollo Twin or whatever Universal Audio interface that you have to actually work with OBS. So apparently... For some reason, OBS doesn't recognize the inputs on the Apollo, which is fairly odd, um, considering that, you know, it reads basically everything else. And, um, you know, I don't really have another mic setup that's connecting into the computer besides that of my interface, because that's what I do. I am a musician. I record stuff, and that's what I'm using for everything else, for teaching and whatnot. So... It works with everything else, really. It essentially does work with everything else that I do. And, you know, when I'm using Zoom, when I'm using Skype, when I'm using Blackboard, anything that I'm using, it actually does work. But for some reason, with OBS, it wasn't working and it was not reading anything at all. And uh, that was kind of infuriating because, I mean, uh, you know, I'm setting everything up to actually stream um, I don't know if I'm gonna drop this today. Um, I'm gonna be streaming later uh, with my band's uh, page on Twitch because we're affiliates over there. So, you know, I, I wanted to start streaming as well there. Um, and I was setting everything up and it was just giving me one hell of a headache as it was not reading my audio. It was, you know, getting the computer audio perfectly fine. However, my input, it was just not working. So, the workaround to this, if you have Mac, apparently you, there's a way to kind of work around the I.O. matrix inside of the Universal Audio to kind of fake that you're going into the computer itself instead of the interface. And it's kind of a workaround. I'm going to link that video down below in the comments. So if you're looking for that in particular, um, you know, in, in a Mac, you can you know check that out. However, I'm in Windows and the Apollo Twin for USB or for Windows does not have the IO matrix. So that's kind of where the problem begins in terms of the workaround inside of the UAD console online. So, or rather on the computer. So that's actually kind of a problem. However, the actual problem itself is that OBS does not recognize the audio input from it. So the workaround is pretty simple and it just, it makes me mad to even think about how easy that was However, I you know, spent a lot of time looking for it. So you have to download a driver for OBS um, and to use it as ASIO. So OBS ASIO driver, I found it on GitHub. I'm going to link it down below and I'm going to link the video that I saw to get this happen, uh, which I'm completely thankful to you. Uh, I really don't remember the guy's name, but I saw a video and it helped me a lot. And I said, you know, what I'm gonna make a video on this as well, uh, just to have another answer to this out as well. So basically all you have to do is download this um, kind of driver to your OBS and it, it works just like a plugin. So when you open OBS, I'm actually gonna screen record this so you guys can actually see. So when you open OBS, you're gonna you know, see some things like the one that I, I'm showing here. Um, I actually, kind of set this up for my taste so you don't have to set it up like this um however this is how i have it set up so anywho where you have the sources part like this little thing over here which i'm again i'm gonna be showing you guys this um the recording because after doing this recording i'm gonna record that so you guys can you know see it here on the video um so when you download this uh driver you go to sources you go to the plus sign and instead of using the audio input capture what you are going to use is the ASIO input capture. And what's interesting here is that you're going to enter here. And as you can see, I have two already because I'm having one here and then I have another one, another scene. So if you kind of make that, you're going to see that you have a devices um, kind of tab where you're going to pick the universal audio that you have. You know, if you have a different model, you're going to use that. Um, and you just 
you know, I have the USB one, so I picked the USB. So you have to put it in mono. That's very important. You have to put it in mono in like in the format. Um, and then in the OBS channel one, you have to pick the input that you're going to be using on the um, interface. So it's kind of suggested that you use the one or two. So I'm using the one. So I just put the mic line HC one, and that's what I'm using to be able to actually transmit my audio into um, OBS and it works just fine just as well as any other solution and I I was about to break everything down <laughs> yesterday um, but I finally got it to work uh, thanks to uh, the video that I actually found the forums don't say shit forums don't really talk about any of this which is really weird considering that there's a lot of people having this problem and then there's really not many of them posting the results because most of them are actually working on Mac, but not everyone likes to work on Mac. And it's not that I don't like to work on Mac and it's not that I don't necessarily like to work on Mac, but I enjoy working on Windows. I am, however, um, in the future getting a Mac just to go along with this because I like certain Adobe things over there rather than using them on PC. However, for everything else, I use PC and I edit my videos in DaVinci Resolve. So there's that. And I also game <laughs> with my PC and I record with my PC. So that's my, you know, my preference. So hopefully this helped anyone out there that's looking into starting to stream and has a universal audio interface and they're not finding how to get the audio to work with OBS. That's my workaround. It worked just fine. And I'm really honestly happy with the result that I got out of this. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'm going to be streaming later on today. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys over there. I'm going to link it down below. I'm going to probably play some Witcher just because I haven't been able to play it for a while um, due to college and whatnot. And I'm basically done with my bachelor's degree, which I'm really excited about. Um, so why not play the games that I haven't been able to finish? So I'm going to be doing that. Probably gonna be, you know, streaming some other music stuff. Like when I get this figured out, I'm probably gonna try to stream some uh, recording sessions and, you know, whatnot, just to hang out and and kind of share my process, I guess. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys over there. If not, hopefully I'll see you guys on one of the next videos that I do here on YouTube. Uh, I'm gonna be here more often, um, which I'm <laughs> really happy about. Again, uh, I like putting these videos out there, so. Yeah. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like, comment if you, this helped. I don't, I don't know. And hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next one. And also, subscribe if you want to support me. So, yeah, I'll see you guys there.